Hi guys, my name is Kate Amular and I'm a teaching artist with Art Possible Ohio and today I'm going to be doing a two-part video series about how to make clay puppets at home. But our first video today is going to be how to make air dry clay at home if you don't have clay already with you. So here are a few things that we're going to be needing today. You'll need one cup of cornstarch, two cups of baking soda, one and a half cups of water, um, whatever food coloring you've got on hand, mine are neon colors, but if you don't have neon, it's not a big deal. And then supplies wise, you'll need about a medium sized pot, a medium sized bowl like this one, and then a fork and a spatula. All right, so let's kick things off by mixing our first couple of ingredients. So we're gonna take our medium sized pot and we're gonna combine our one cup of cornstarch Try to get as much as you can in there. If not, it's okay. And then our two cups of baking soda. And then that one and a half cup of water. And now we're gonna take our fork and we're gonna mix up this mixture until it's nice and smooth and there's no more lumps. Um, it's gonna be kind of thick at first. It's kind of gooey looking. It's gonna take some extra muscle work but it should be about like five minutes of you mixing it and it should be completely smooth. So as you can see, my mixture is completely smooth. There's no more lumps. And if you wanna double check, just take your fork and just move it back and forth in the pot, just to make sure. But once you feel like you've gotten that baking soda, cornstarch and water all mixed up together, we're gonna to take our pot and we're gonna move it over to the stove where we're gonna turn on the heat to about medium, medium low. So it looks like that. And we're gonna constantly stir our mixture until we start to see big bubbles and it starts to thicken up and become the consistency of whipped mashed potatoes. All right, so I'm gonna stop stirring just for a sec to show you guys what my mixture is looking like, but you can already see there are a couple bubbles starting to show up but it's still quite not to the texture or the consistency I want it to be, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep stirring. We're looking for that wet mashed potato consistency, um, so it's nice and thick and easy to mold when we go to use our clay. All right, so if you guys are here stirring with me, you can see that my mixture has become a lot more bubbly, and I can feel it just by moving the mixture around that it's becoming a lot more thick but I'm still gonna keep at it because it's still not to that whipped mashed potato consistency and that's where I want it to be. So just be patient, keep mixing. Watch those bubbles come up. We're definitely getting close. When we start to see this many bubbles, it's definitely a sure sign that we're almost there, but just not quite. But keep sticking with it, keep stirring it. And for those of you who are wondering, I'm not sh sure what which mashed potatoes look like. You're gonna notice a difference in the texture as soon as this starts to kind of slow down and bubbling, and it starts to become a little more thick. You're almost looking for something that kind of looks like sand you would find at the beach. That's kind of the texture we're going for, like a wet sand. And you can already see by me moving this texture back and forth and just lifting up my rubber spatula, it's definitely becoming a lot more thick. So we're super close. It's kind of making a fun poppy noise. starting to see some lumps up here, which is good, because then they're gonna start to form in that rich mashed potato consistency. I'm gonna move my camera a little bit closer so you guys can see. We're definitely close. You know, this is still a little bit too wet and we want our mixture to be a little more thick and cohesive. And so once we get our mixture to look like this, go ahead and turn off that heat. And we're gonna take our pot off of the stove 
And then, this is kind of hard for me to do with one hand, so I'm gonna put the camera down for a sec. But we're gonna pour our whipped mashed potato texture and mixture into our clean medium sized bowl. All right, so here is our air dry clay mixture that we went ahead and we cooked on the stove and got it to a nice consistency of like whipped mashed potatoes. And once you turn the heat off and got that pot off the stove, we're gonna, we transferred it into our medium sized bowl. And now we're gonna let it cool for about five to 10 minutes until it's a little bit cooler to the touch. So once we've gone ahead and let our mixture cool for about five to 10 minutes, we should be able to kind of squish it around and it's not like hot to the touch like it was before. So just give it a nice squeeze, play around with it, get used to that texture. I really like this because the medium of art that I really like to do a lot is clay. And so um, even though this isn't like the clay that I would normally use, this is pretty close to it and it's really fun to kind of squish around with my fingers. So once you've kind of played around with this mixture a bit, go ahead and turn it out onto your counter. Um, if you're worried about like creating a mess, you can tape down a piece of parchment paper um, to your counter. So it kind of keeps things a little more clean and neat. Um, so normally I would probably mix just one color into this giant ball of dough, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to section it off. It doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't have to match in size into about, I think probably four or three different sections. So then I can mix in four or three different colors and have options to choose when I go to make my clay puppets. So here's like one ball that I'll use. Here's another, and then these are gonna be my other two. So I've got four, like I guess, medium-sized balls of clay. And we're gonna set two aside. Actually, I'm gonna set three aside so you guys can see what I'm gonna do next. And I'm gonna take my food coloring. Um, I've got purple, green, pink, and blue. And I'm gonna start with the blue one first because blue is my favorite color. I'm gonna open it up. Go ahead and sandwich down your little ball of clay so you kind of get like a fat pancake. And we're going to drop about like, I would say five drops of food coloring onto the surface. Make sure you put the lid back on. And we're going to fold this dough over so you kind of make like a taco. And we're going to keep folding it. Keep folding, keep folding. And then just kind of squeeze the dough together with your fingers and you're going to start to see that blue or whatever color you have come through the clay. And just go ahead and squeeze it in your hands. Make sure that color is rubbed in. I'm just making sure that before I put it on the counter that that color isn't loose so I don't go ahead and stain my parents counter that wouldn't be good but go ahead and just get that ball and a squeeze again if you're worried about the color and making a mess go ahead and put a piece of parchment paper down um, and you can do it this way and then once you feel like the color is really mixed in there and it's not gonna bleed on to whatever surface you're working on go ahead and put it on the counter and we're going to knead the dough. Um, so kneading is a process in ceramics where you're just kind of sandwiching the dough together on top of itself. You can use two hands. You can use just the heel of one hand. And I think because the size of this dough ball is much smaller, you can just use the heel of one hand. And just go ahead and knead it until that color is really mixed in all the way and you don't see any more streaks. Your hands might kind of turn whatever color that you were working with, but it's okay. Nothing a little soapy water can't fix over time. Um, so I really kind of like the way this color is right now. So I'm going I'm to go ahead and set this dough ball to the side. And so until we use our balls of clay for our clay puppet making later on, or if you want to use these for another project too, I would recommend storing them in like a little plastic container that you have on hand or even just putting them in a bowl with a towel over it um, will help keep these nice and um, moist essentially because if we just leave them on the counter they're going to get kind of crunchy and hard to work with. 
because um, it is air dry clay. So every time that it's exposed to the air and not essentially being used or um, covered with something, it's going to dry up. So I would definitely recommend putting these in a place um, where they'll stay nice and wet and hydrated until you bring them out to use them again. So I'll see you guys next time for our next video on how to make clay puppets. Thanks for joining me.